Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Ms. Holkren and uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I rise this evening uh, along with my colleagues uh, to honor the life and legacy of uh, Charles Colson, better known as Chuck Colson. Uh, many people remember Chuck Colson as the hatchet man for President Richard M. Nixon. Uh, and also the first member of the administration of, under Richard Nixon to go to prison. But uh, Chuck Colson is probably known better as a central figure in the Christian community since his conversion to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Some at the time of his conversion may have said it was a jailhouse conversion. However, however if you knew uh, and you, could, you looked at the life of Chuck Colson, and saw the life that he led following his relief from Maxwell Federal Prison Camp in Alabama, you would come to a far different conclusion. Chuck Colson emerged from prison with a new mission, and that mission was to mobilize the Christian church to minister to pris prisoners. This would perhaps be his greatest contributions to the church and to the world. Chuck Colson was someone who uh, rose high to high places uh, in the eyes of the world. Uh, during his uh, all the time during his time here in Washington and his political career, but it actually wasn't until Chuck Colson hit rock bottom uh, that really his life was turned around. It wasn't until he realized that he was living in darkness, that he was in need of a savior, and that he was powerless to earn God's favor that his life actually turned around. If he were uh, with us here tonight, I think Chuck would unashamedly say that placing his trust in Christ, recognizing that Christ had paid the penalty for his sins, was the best decision that he ever made in his life. And I can say these things about Chuck Colson because I had the opportunity to get to know Chuck Colson personally over the last several years and the honor to call him a friend. Chuck Colson made many friends over his life and of course he will be missed uh, greatly by so many around the world and of course to Patty and his children uh, he will be sorely missed. But Mr. Speaker I feel sure that Chuck uh, has heard the words well done my good and faithful servant. So uh, thank you again, Mr. Holcren, for the time you've yielded to me to honor Chuck Colson, and I yield back.